Yo, what's up you guys, MechELT here. I hope you're all having a wonderful day today. So today's video is actually gonna be a follow-on to my first ever video that I created for this YouTube channel. And uh, it's basically a follow-on of um, this 12 inch fan, whether or not it could push 1800 CFM or not. Um, it, it was not capable of doing that and I was not very happy with its performance. So what I ended up doing was returning it to Amazon and then I got these uh, these two 14 inch fans. So I bumped it up by uh, two inches in diameter. And uh, the first one is a Ventasol 14 inch shutter fan. They claim they can get 1950 CFM out of it. The second one is an AC Infinity Airlift S14. And uh, they claim they can get 1513 CFM out of it. So uh, we'll uh, go down to the basement and we'll do some testing on these guys and we'll see whether or not uh, these can get their claimed uh, CFM and airflow out of these. What's up you guys? I just got these shipped to me last night and uh, I just pulled them out of their boxes. On the left hand side right here we got the cheap one that I got off of Amazon and on the right side I've got the AC Infinity. Both of these are 14 inch fans. So I want to take uh, just like my initial reactions of how these were packaged and uh, just the state in which they came. Uh, the AC Infinity was packaged way better. Uh, there's nothing wrong with it. Um, whereas the cheap one, they have like these rubber pads that go under the screws, I assume, to try and reduce the vibration. And like all the pads are just like kind of falling apart and there's pieces just like loose in the box. And then on the shroud right here, it doesn't even have a screw. So this pretty much just came incomplete and that's kind of disappointing, but we'll see how it tests up against the AC Infinity yet anyways. I got the AC Infinity plugged in. Let's get it turned on. This has 10 different speeds, I think. So let's turn it up to its max. It feels like it's moving a good chunk of air here. And uh, I got it plugged into my meter box. I can see how much power it's pulling. Looks like it's at 48, 49 watts approximately. But I'm going to use the same testing method that I did in my last video and I'm going to use my uh, anemometer and I'll be able to measure the velocity coming out of this thing and uh, I'll be able to determine uh, the volumetric flow rate coming out of it. So if you're curious about the exact testing method. Uh, I'll post the link of the video below and I'm going to use the same method for the cheaper fan over here and we'll see how these guys stack up against each other.
I got the second fan all set up. Let's check out how many watts it's pulling. Looks like it's a little bit more than the AC Infinity at about uh, between 52 and 53 watts. And I've got my anemometer. So let's get the testing. Alright you guys, so I ran all my calculations and uh, I got everything in this results page right here. If you're wondering uh, exactly how I got my uh, velocities calculated into uh, cubic feet per minute, uh, go and check out the video that I had shown at the beginning of this video. I'll link it in the description below. But um, in that video I go through in depth in exactly what calculations I was using. To, uh, to get all this stuff. But um, <clears throat> I'll just start off with the Ventasol, uh, what they claimed. They get the 1950 CFM. Uh, I measure an average velocity of 5.1 meters per second, which gets me 1073.2 CFM. Going down to uh, the max velocity, I got 6.3 meters per second, and that calculates into 1325.7 CFM. So um, I just did a quick calculation on my phone, and the 1325 is only about 68% of the 1950 that they claim they could get. So um, I, yeah, it's pretty bad, in my opinion. Um, they're definitely not, their fans aren't pushing out what they um, claim they can get. Uh, but moving on to the AC Infinity, they claim they can get 1513 CFM. Uh, I measured an average velocity of six meters per second, which gets me to 1200 and about 63 CFM right here. Um, so I'll go on the next slide. We'll look at like a percent error calculation that I got for that. But uh, moving on to the max, I got 7.4 meters per second, which uh, calculates to 1557.2 CFM right here. Um, so that's that's right in the ballpark of what they claim they can get. So uh, kudos to AC Infinity for marketing a reasonable value for uh, what their fans can actually get compared to the uh, cheaper alternatives that I've checked out so far on Amazon and tested. So moving to the next slide, um, I want to take a look at testing error on the AC Infinity. Uh, the, the average calculation that I ran. So uh, the formula for percent error is uh, measured value minus the expected value divided by the expected value. And all that is in, um, it's all an absolute value. And then you multiply it by 100 to get the percentage itself. 
but popping in the numbers right here, you got 1,262.9 minus 1513 divided by 1513. The absolute value of that number times 100 gets me 16.5%. So I'm actually really happy with this using the, uh, the uh, average value. That tells me that I'm in the right ballpark with how I'm testing this stuff. And 16.5% uh, really isn't that bad. The uh, anemometer that I was using was actually, that's like rated for plus or minus 5%. So even if it was at um, its maximum of you know 5% off, that means there's 10% testing error on my part, which I think is pretty darn good. All right, you guys, so this is going to uh, sum up this video. Um, see here, get rid of that. So moving forward, um, I think I'm actually gonna return both of these fans, including the uh, AC Infinity 14 inch, and I, uh, I was able to measure some uh, values down in my basement for uh, the size of my window and everything. And I should be able to fit this AC Infinity 16 inch fan in my window. And if I really wanted to, I could stack two of them on top of each other, have one on top and one on bottom on the window. But um, I'll have plenty of videos in the future coming of uh, me putting all that together and everything. But uh, yeah, I'll get one of these guys ordered up and um, we'll see how that ends up going. I'll eventually do some testing on that too. But uh, yeah, if you guys enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. Uh, thank you for your support so far. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.